Believe is Talk with Joe and Steve. We're your hosts. I'm Joe. I'm Steve. And in the previous episode, we talked about some of the un- undrafted free agents that came on to Buffalo. Uh, and we told you in that episode that sometimes these undrafted free agent players, they matter, right? Yeah. They mean something. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we do, however, if you are new to the channel or if you've been here a couple times, if you enjoy Bill's content, subscribe to this channel. Steve and I are going to keep you in, as informed as possible on all things Buffalo Bills. Uh, so let's get into this episode. Let's talk about some of former Bills players who are undrafted free agents. Yeah. Down. Probably the most notable mm-hmm. for me is Ken Hall. Okay. Um, yeah. He did go to, to the USFL mm-hmm. and play there. Um, and then he came in 86 to 96 right. in Buffalo. He was a three-time Pro Bowler. Mm-hmm. Obviously part of the four Super Bowls. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. The K-Gun offense. Yeah. You know, he ran the offensive line and some of us think he should be a Hall of Famer. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Uh, and I think you, you said in, in his 11-year career, he missed one game. Yeah. I mean, come on, that's pretty awesome. Um, Especially being in the trenches. Exactly. Yeah, you're down there, you're getting hit every snap, right? Yeah. It's not, it's not, you, you have to get hit every snap. So, um, but yeah, Kent Hall is probably one of one of my favorites as well. Um, you, it's kind of cool, the story, like, they both, both him and Jim Kelly came up from the USFL together, yeah. you know, and uh, so they're used to each other from there, yeah. and that works out in Buffalo. Yeah, they did play together with the Generals, the okay. New Jersey Generals, mm-hmm. uh, I believe, for one year, and then gotcha. yeah. came, and into, came Buffalo. into Buffalo together. So, uh, the next guy on our list is is a current player, actually, yeah. um, however, he's no longer is a Bill, uh, Jason Peters, uh, now the Philadelphia Eagles, um, had yeah. a great career for Buffalo at the time. Yeah, the Bills uh, took a flyer actually on him. He was yeah. a tight end. Right, right. And they switched him to offensive tackle. Mm-hmm. Um, he played four solid mm-hmm. years for them. Yeah. He made two Pro Bowls in 07 and 08 with Buffalo, and they traded him then to uh, Philly, yep. who he's currently playing with. And he's been regarded as one of the best offensive mm-hmm. tackles in the league. Mm-hmm. To me, I'm, I'm a little up in the air about Jason Peters because I think he holds a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's a nine-time Pro Bowler, so... You know, yeah, he he's made a living. He has been on draft. He has. Uh, I, I feel like Jason Peters, uh, especially later, like last year, he was hurt most of the year. Yeah. But I feel like he got a lot of those Pro Bowl nominees just because of his name. Yeah. Like 07, 08, 09, even really good years for him. And then I feel like sometimes these these fan votes, like you know, yeah. they they hear the name Jason Peters, like oh yeah, a great player. Well, he was at one point. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, but then moving on to our list is a guy that we recently saw at the draft, who recently just retired as a Bill, yep. uh, and we'll hopefully see in the Ring of Ring of Fame someday, is uh, Fred Jackson. Uh, most of you know Fred Jackson, played for the Bills from 06 to 2014. Yep. I know you're not as big of a fan as Fred Jackson, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I like his story. He went to the, uh, what was it, over in Europe? Okay. Like Europe League, yeah. NFL Europe. Yeah, sure. And he actually showed out there for the, I believe it was a Ryan Fire. Okay. And he, he kind of got in with the Bills. Um, mm-hmm. One of the reasons why he got in with the Bills is he went to Coe Co College. Okay. Same thing as Marv Levy, so that right. got him, right. you know, kind of looked at there. And he, he made a living. He mm-hmm. he did have a solid career. He was, yeah. he was not one of my favorite players, but mm-hmm. at times he, w- he was one of the better backs Absolutely. that we had. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Um, you can't argue with his toughness and his drive. I mean, and that's, if, if I recall, that's one of the reasons why you weren't so high on him because better running backs were sitting yeah. out just because of his hard work and yeah. things like that. So, um, so yeah, but yeah, I mean, great player for the Bills. And uh, and then we move on to our fourth player who wasn't a Bill as long. Like, he moved yeah. around the league a little bit, but still a great player. Uh, London Fletcher yeah. was a Bill from 02 to 06. You, you I, I loved London <laughs> Fletcher. Uh, I thought he was... He was a heck of a player, yeah, especially absolutely. middle linebacker. He was an Iron Man. Yep. I believe he only missed one game. In his 11 years yeah. or whatever it is. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. And that's hard to do at middle linebacker, too, just like Ken Hall at center. Yeah. But he started out with the Rams. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he went to the Super Bowl. He won the Super Bowl with them. Mm-hmm. And then he came to Buffalo. Right. So he, he was here for four years, and he's probably most known for being with Washington. Washington right. His time after there Buffalo. There for, what, six, seven years, something yeah. like that. So. so but I, I really liked him in Buffalo. I, mm-hmm. Those early years in oh, the yeah. 2000s where they, yeah. I thought they always had a decent team and just could never make a run. Yeah, well, I mean, it seems like Buffalo, when they were when they were good during the stretch, they always had a good defense. It was yeah. that offense. It was like, come on. And then we, when we draft J.P. Austin. Then. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, but, yeah, so, so yeah, those are four of the key guys. Maybe we're forgetting someone. If you know of a bill that was an undrafted free agent that we didn't mention, mention below in the comments. We'll happily talk about him. 
I'm sure we're probably missing somebody. Yeah. You know, in the, in the long career of the Buffalo Bills, I'm sure there's some other players that you you know of. So just mention them. Uh, going down, we have another list of just NFL players that didn't play for Buffalo who went on to have great careers. Most of these names you should know. Uh, Tony Romo. Yeah. Now a broadcaster for CBS, but. You know, what a, I think he had a really, I'm not a Cowboy fan at all, but what a great career he had. Yeah, he, he was a solid quarterback. Yeah. Um, he, was, he was a pretty good fantasy quarterback. Right. <laughs> a couple <laughs> times I, yeah. I'd play him in fantasy <laughs> and I'd be upset, but I mm-hmm. never really liked him being a Cowboy. But, yeah. you know, he, I, I would have took him in the Bills uniform. Abs- oh, absolutely. Out. Absolutely. Uh, next is another quarterback who I've never heard anyone say a word, word about, uh, Kurt Warner. Yeah. As far as playing wise, I should say. Uh, Kurt Warner started out in the USFL as well. No, no, no he went in the arena. Right, league. arena. Uh, and then came on with the, uh, the Rams and the rest is yeah. kind of history, right? Yeah. And then towards the end of his career, he bounced around. He right. had his really good years mm-hmm. in St. Louis. Yep. Um, Went to the Giants mm-hmm. and didn't do much there. Uh, Eli took over that position right. the first year, and then he went to Arizona mm-hmm. and it was going to be a backup. And then he he went on that yeah, run again. He, absolutely. At the end of his career, he kind of was rejuvenated and played good. And yeah, and then now he does the broadcasting for NFL right. Network. Yeah, I still remember that. Uh, I forget which number it is. Maybe you'll know the Super Bowl between them and P- Arizona and Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, and one of the best Super Bowls I've ever seen. Like it was remarkable. He didn't win, but. Not because of him, <laughs> like, yeah. it was amazing. So, uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, going down the list, another quarterback. Uh, lots of you probably heard of. Uh, if you're younger, you might not have. But uh, Warren Moon. Yeah. Uh, loved. You know, I did not get to see Warren Moon play that much, but I loved watching him play. Yeah, he he bounced around from team to team. Yeah. Um, he started out with the uh, CFL. Right. He wasn't drafted, so he went to the CFL for a year or two, and then came into the NFL. Yeah, my, my favorite Warren Moon game, the uh, playoff game against the Bills, right? Yeah. <laughs> he was part of the comeback game. He was the uh, Houston Oilers uh, quarterback uh, when we had our 35-point comeback. So he's not yeah. too fond of that game. <laughs> thank you, Warren. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Warren. That was, uh, that was a fun game for us to watch in the second half. Um, moving down the list, getting away from the quarterback position, we have Antonio Gates, I believe. Has he announced his retirement yet? Or is he still no, in? he... Um... I believe he still wants to play, okay. but the Chargers have said they're going to move on from him. Right, right. And, you know, he, he's been banged up the past he few has, years. Yeah. He's getting up there in age, and he's mm-hmm. not quite the player that he used to be, but he's had one heck of a career. Probably yeah. be a Hall of Famer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think he might be a first bat Hall of Famer. Like, yeah. he's been that yeah. Yeah, good. Um, and to be honest, everyone who we named on this list, Tony Romo is maybe. They're most yeah. close. That's close. But I think the other three guys definitely are Hall of Famers. I think Warren Moon already is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, I think with you. Uh, Warner and Moon are both in. Yeah, mm-hmm. Warner and Moon are both in. And turn Gates, and then this guy, the next guy on our list, uh, Jeff Saturday. Yeah. Not much you could say as far as stats go, because it's kind of hard to get stats and offensive linemen. But if you've been a fan of the league, if you're a fan of Peyton Manning, you know who Jeff Saturday is. Yeah. And I think he's he works on ESPN now too, right? Yeah, he's so, with NFL Network. Oh, NFL Network. Okay. So yeah. So those are uh, when when we went through our previous episode and started naming someone on draft for agents. I'm sure a lot of you were like, who cares about these guys? Well. It might pan out. Yeah. It might pan out to be all right. So uh, so that's all I really want to say about these guys. I don't know if you have any thoughts on, on these guys. No, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. it. So so let, let's uh, let's think about these undrafted free agents and um, support them just like we would, just like we will uh, everyone else on our team, all yeah. the other draft picks, right? I mean, hey, they're fighting for a dream. Exactly. Yeah, they're fighting for their job. They're not Josh Allen right now who yeah. knows he's on the team at least. You know, they're going to be fighting. So I look forward to... Uh, Seeing a lot of these guys in the preseason, yep. right? You'll see a lot of the undrafted free agents in the preseason fight for their jobs. So uh, we look forward to that. But if you have anything else, I got nothing else. So uh, let's keep going. Uh, until next time. Go Bills. Go Bills.